Hey guys, what's up? It's Gangsta 10 here, and uh, I'm back from the holidays with my uh, first new video. And um, this one is gonna be about how I use my blue screen, the screen behind me, which had no effect on it yet, because I'll show that at the end of the video. But um, I use Movie Maker, and I use a, a, a download uh, plugin, which which is for Movie Maker that makes it allows you to use your blue screen, which I'm gonna show you, and I'll put the link in the description below the doobly do. Um, how to get that because I, it's really helpful and it's it's really awesome to be able to use a blue screen or a green screen but this one's for blue but it's really awesome to be able to do that with this spend this much money because movie makers free and so is the plugin so I'll tell you how you, you guys can use a blue screen for free and it works good and I'll tell you what's the best thing to do to get it look good um, so yeah guys hope you enjoy this video so yeah first off guys you need to get something behind you that's blue um, what I used is Bristol board, which I guess it does cost a little bit of money. It's like two bucks for this. I do have a third ones, but I don't need it right now. But um, so just Bristol board, which is cheap because it works the best. It works the best unless you have like no, actually nothing. I think Bristol board works the best. So all you do is you need your blue because this is for blue screen. So I just tack two pieces of Bristol board lengthways because that way you can see more of it. And I don't have much room because I have my fish tank beside me. So, but that's why it's filmed this way. But um, it works for me, and you just tack that up or tape it up somehow. I just use tacks, and um, once you're done that, just have make sure you have the proper lighting, which is anything. I don't even have. I just have one of my lights and my fan facing this way, so I have light on me, and that seems to work the best. Um, one other thing is when you're recording it with the blue screen, what it does is it replaces any blue color that's in the recording screen with whatever image or video you choose to put layer behind your video clip um so don't wear blue clothing like what i am right now because you'll be able to see right through me if, if i did that um yeah another few things i'll talk about is make sure that the wherever the blue screen is it's flat and flush like that's you don't want any folds in it because then it'll make the image behind you look weird and uh now probably going to take you over to the computer i'll hyper cam it so and i'll show you how I use it I'll just show you a quick thing I'll put a picture together and in, in a quick video and then I'll tell you that the links at the bottom and that's it guys you download and I'll tell explain right now how to do it so so let's go over to the computer come on hey guys yo what's up it's gangs with 10 and now we're on to the computer section of it okay so first thing you go to oh first thing you need Windows Movie Maker 2.6 so if you don't have that you can download that just Google went Windows Movie 2.6 download. It's free. So um, okay, now you go into here, Windows Movie Maker .net forums. Um, I'll post. A, I'll put the link in the doobly do underneath the video. Okay, so what you do is you copy. See this code right here. Just copy it. Simple. Then you go to your program files wherever you save Movie Maker 2, just save it to the default spot, go to Program Files times 86, go to Movie Maker 2.6, go to your shared, okay, so you have this. Now, you need to open up Notepad first, copy that code, um, save it, just save it as bluescreen.xml, you gotta do that, save it, okay, so once you have that, you go you open have your documents or whatever or your move maker under your shared file and then you open up another one just go to your documents open it up and see it's right here blue screen XML document you drag it over uh, actually my bad before you drag it over you go here make a folder and call it add on TFX like that save it okay now what you do is you go to your documents take the blue screen thing you saved and drag it into that folder I'm just gonna ask you for permission okay now once you have that you can close that and that and you can just minimize this I can close this movie maker now open up Windows Movie Maker 2.6 mm -hmm. it should still have the film reel and then you go to transitions Voila, blue screen. Now, I'll show you how it works. If I have a video on here, I don't know if I do, but um, 
here I can just do this don't know how well it's gonna work but I'll just import a, just a video of my fish what you would normally do is with the video that you recorded that of you doing whatever on the in front of the blue screen you would input that import that and then ah, slow guys sorry about that you'd import that and then you do the same thing what I'm going to do I'll just show you how you do that it's the exact same thing just with whatever video you 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 are using the blue screen for <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> so I'll put this in the description okay I'll put the link to the site to get the blue screen code and I'll put the link to um <coughs> I can even put the link for the Movie Maker 2.6 download in the description. And then, I think that was it. I don't know. <coughs> oh, while that's doing that, guys, I'll just like to show you my blog. Here's my blog. I got requested to make a blog so I could put in the tutorial for my how to get clear vocals and instruments on Mixcraft. So it's right there. If you want to see the text version of the tutorial, it's right there. Um. I have I'll keep people updated on when my new videos are coming out like I just told everyone but this video and other ones I'm gonna do and I'm I put all the I can put the links on here too I can make a blog and put the links to all the sites to get the codes and the blue screen effect all on my blog too so follow my blog just join it and follow my blog and then I keep you updated about my rant videos my reviews other stuff just I appreciate all the help and all the support so and you can also check out my YouTube videos down here my last four YouTube videos right there and if you have a, a Android you can go right here for the mobile site just thought I'd share that with you guys okay so it's on here and what I'll do is just get a picture that you want to replace whatever I'll just go to so you don't really have much pictures on here, but I'll just take this picture. Okay, so what you do is you put the video clip on there. You go to your timeline, put the picture behind it. Make them about same length, if not same, close. Go to transitions, blue screen, put it in under in between, then just drag it back so it's like like that. And it's going to work bad because it's just a fish tank. That's really loud. Um, but yeah, you see how it's it's trying to. It's just because the fish tank's not blue, but you see what I mean. So yeah, guys, that's that, and uh, hope you hope this video helped because I always try to help you guys. Um, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to me for other videos like this or other variety of videos. Comment if you need any help. Um, follow my blog, share the videos, do whatever. I'm really trying to get more views on YouTube, so. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.